Welcome back Bookie fans. I have another video on Gimme Ghoul and this time we are going to be just checking out its data in the Pokemon website. So let's quickly get into this. Please go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't as it does help me a lot. Alright, let's start with the Gimme Ghoul chest form. As you can see it's going to be another ghost type Pokemon which I think we just had one released which was Grivard. Either way, it does have the ability rattled, which I'm not really sure if it's that good. Uh, but here we have the chest form. Now, as far as the design goes for this Pokemon, it is pretty good. But I think I still like Reward more. And I think that they could have made this one a dual typing because we already have a ghost type Pokemon, the Reast. Um, but either way, this is still going to be a ghost type Pokemon. Other than that, since it's actually a chest form, it does like to hide inside a treasure chest, which I think it's pretty cool. But of course, it does have the ability to control people and make them collect different coins for it. I believe that it does need 1000 coins, um, but not really sure if that makes it evolve or makes it uh, catchable, whichever it is. Either way, I still feel like it's not as scary as getting the life sucked out of you, just like how Grievoid does. Um, but I guess this is a pretty cool Pokemon on its own. Other than that, we also have the roaming form for Gimme Ghoul, which is actually pretty cool. Um, but there isn't any details on this Pokemon for now, so we're not really sure what it's gonna be. I think the typing will still be the same. I think it's gonna be a ghost type Pokemon. But I guess we'll have a different way to actually catch it as well as maybe we'll have some tasks to perform in the game itself to kind of encounter it. Either way, that is the roaming form of Gimme Ghoul. Anyway, the Pokemon website does have these details about the roaming form right here. It seems like it doesn't really have a treasure chest of its own. And unlike the treasure chest form where it controls the people to go ahead and get the coins for it, here this form actually kind of uh, looks for the coin itself, which means it's kind of pretty independent. Either way, as far as we know, it does run away if you approach it. So I guess we might have to do something or maybe, you know, uh, give it a lot of coins for it to actually befriend us and then we'll get a chance to actually catch it. So that might be the case. Either way, I think this roaming form is much uh, cooler than the chess form, but I think we'll have the chess form being more available to us in the game. Um, we might have to see how that goes. Either way, a pretty interesting new Pokemon that they have released. Personally, I wish it was a dual typing Pokemon uh, because we already have a single ghost type Pokemon already released. So let's see how it does evolve or how it's going to be in the future when the game releases. Alright, that's all I had for today. Thank you all for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. It really helps me a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next one.